Good morning traders, it's Friday, let's do some trading. Looking for code 2, be right back. Okay, I just jumped in short. Just jumped in short, we'll see what's going to happen here. Could be offset. Many things can happen, just feeling it out here. I could, or I could have the right entry right here. And it's bada ba bing, it's going to go drop. We're about to find out. Let me place a stop. I'll be right back. Okay, stop is placed at 48.69 on the stop. What does that put me at? Puts me at uh, 9 ticks. 9 tick stop. Testing the waters here. Uh oh. Come on, baby. Hmm. It looked like a, a rollover to me. Or it was just going to roll over and go on down. It might do it right here. Okay, interest of time. I'll come back. Okay, I think it's going to do it here. It's going to drop out. Here we go. Oh, not yet. Okay, I'll come back. Hmm, looking like it's setting up to be offset here. Hmm. Sure is tricky lately, I'll tell you. Okay, come right back. Okay, here we go. This one's going to do it. It's going to break down right here and it's going to drop. Now I should have the code 2. A code 2 trade. It was good for 120 ticks yesterday, by the way. I'll be right back. 120 ticks it was good for yesterday. So, and today's Friday, though. Friday. Sometimes Friday can be a beautiful day, you know, like 200 ticks even. But a lot of times Friday will be choppy. It'll go a certain amount, but still it'll go back the other way too. So it can really be choppy. Seldom is it like just a trending day where it just keeps on going in one direction. But it is setting up on the daily here. To have a nice day to go down because we're in um, new territory on the downside for a long time. So it might have a tendency to capitulate a bit going down in, on a Friday. So I'm going to kind of hold it for a little bit and feel what it wants to do, how slippery it is, how much it wants to go down, how far down we get. How quickly from from my point? You know, if it really starts to to move, I have a tendency to hold it. If it if it's taking a while, I'm gonna go for uh, less ticks. Like maybe. Let's see, what's my entry? My entry is pretty good. Let me see here, seventy. My entry is pretty good. I'm gonna go for seventy ticks. Yesterday was 120. I'm just going to go for 70 if it takes a while. Otherwise, this thing may uh, get going here, and we may have a nice uh, day going down. So I wouldn't want to, you know. I've got a good position here. I've got the code 2. I've got a 100 tick exit on it right now. Um, you know, I have the luxury of just sitting here watching it to see what it's going to do. There are certain ways you can know if you want to go for more or not. All all according to the code, of course. All of this is according to the code. You're seeing for yourselves how powerful this is. How I can, boom, take an entry. Boom, goes the right way. Boom, I make a big trade. You know? Like, well, how could he know that? You know, how could he do that? How could he do that every day? 
people think of some other rational, you know, explanation. Whoa, well, he must be, you know, uh, cheating in some way, you know, doing some replays or something, you know. Instead of the truth, which is, I broke the code. Is they, they, they laugh at that. Ah, you didn't break a code. Blah, 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 blah. No? I didn't break a code? Are, are you sure about that? <laughs> uh, I did break a code. And now I'm showing it. You know, I, I understand how people can be skeptical, especially when you have this enemy out there sitting there calling you a scam nonstop every day for, you know, four years. And people think that, you know, they, they want to they believe what they hear instead of believing what they see. I think believing what you see is more powerful than believing what you hear personally, but uh, everybody's got their own opinions. Hold on a second here. We do have a possibility of a coming reversal. We don't want to get caught into this one again. Okay, let me uh, watch the code and calculate it a little bit. It's a possibility I may end up going the other way. So you have to be careful with these things now. I've got to be able to read the code. See the code, read the code, interpret the code, and then, of course, apply it properly. Now it may give me a clear signal to go down, and I'll just, and then at that point I'll know I've got it, and I'll just hold it, and it'll keep going down. Or it may give me a long signal off of code one, and then even give me another one. If I didn't reverse by then, I'd be in trouble, because this thing probably would go the other way. And it's starting to set up for that to happen, but I'm just gonna hold it for right now. Got to stop in place. I'll just hold my position, but now I'm going to not pay attention to my position anymore and not worry about it. What I'm going to do now is look at the code and worry about only that. What does it the code say? Not what my position says in any way, shape, or form. What does the code say right now? Does it say it's going to go up? Does it say it's going to go down? We have a possible code 2 reversal. It's important to read it. I'm reading it right now. I'll be right back. Okay, we do have a code one buy entry right here. Unless it's going to be offset, it's possible it could be offset. I'm going to, I'm going to wait and see. I'm going to hold my position short. I'm going to uh, allow it to hit my stop if it's going to go up, and I'm going to watch the code and see what it says. It may give a uh, short entry because it could be offset they're doing that a lot now I'll be right back okay it is a code one by entry I am gonna let it go up and hit my stop I'm going to look for the next code and see what it says if it gives another buy entry I'll go ahead and reverse position or I'll probably be stopped out by then and I'll take a long position assuming that it's going to be long instead of a short but we'll see that hasn't been determined yet I'll read the next code be right back I think uh, this one's also going to be offset right here and if it is, if you look at the charting the last few days, you'd see they're like almost all offset now. And if it is on this one, then it just gave a short entry. It's offset and it's gonna, it just gave a short and it's going to go down. They've been doing this like on almost all of them, especially in these downtrends. It keeps doing it over and over again. You could look at yesterday's charting and see that off the code one. Okay, I'll be right back. See, once you learn how to see the code 
and can interpret it properly, you'll know which direction this thing's going to go with a very high level of accuracy. The only one making the mistake is you. And when you get good at this, you can really, you know, know which direction it's going to go virtually at all times. You make mistakes here and there, you keep it small. But you get it right more often than you get it wrong. It does take some practice though. Be right back. Sort of like this trading is code, is sort of like the ultimate game, the ultimate fun thing that you could learn to do. Where if you can learn how to read it properly, you'll be able to know which direction it's going to go and therefore be able to take advantage of profiting from it in many different ways. Uh, trading, this trading is one of them. And you can profit from it on not just the oil market, but all markets. You know, I suggest trading whatever uh, moves the most, so you can make the most money on it. And that's why I trade oil, because it basically moves the most. But, uh, we are looking good right here. We've got an offset, code one, short entry. Uh, which is probably another one offset code one short entry so everything just was pointing down right now at the moment and we're most likely uh, in a code two down it hasn't been confirmed yet hopefully I can confirm that soon I'll be back this thing is really choppy it's going back up now and it might be a code one long signal it's hard to tell because if it is it's offset I can't tell right now. That's throwing in so many offsets and non-offsets. It's making it uh, a bit difficult to read it because you don't know which which one for sure is which. It's throwing in that extra variable that it, it, it makes it hard to determine. This is why I'll send out the code signals. I'll break the code for oil and start sending the signals out, and then we'll do a couple other instruments after that. So that I'll give you the ability to make money at these markets with the codes. They're trying to do this kind of stuff to take this away from you, making it more complicated. With the code breaking service, I'll put it right smack into your hands and give you and give you the code every day. You'll be able to take these entries and you know score. Now I can't give it to you for the code two. I can just track the code two for you. That's what I'm doing. I've, t I've taken a code to uh, tracking entry. Uh, gonna go for uh, about 70 ticks today, maybe more, maybe 100. Looking good right now. This thing is setting up to give a code one short entry. I'll be right back. Okay, we've got it. We've got a code one short entry. That makes, uh, let's see here, we've got a few of them. That makes one, two, three, four, four of them, four code one short entries. This, I'm in a code two trade. I'm about to confirm that mathematically. Almost there. I'll be right back. We're looking good. My position is, is very high mathematics right now. I've got it right. I'm in the code two trade short. I called this out yesterday in my charting. I've nailed it. Be right back. It's uh, acting super choppy again here. It's going up on what could be an offset. It's a possibility. They've been doing that all week this week. Let's see if next week it, it comes out with that offset again, the same problem, or if it goes back to being normal. We'll see next week. I'll test it out. But I'm going to start breaking the code in two weeks and offering it to you. At that point, you don't even need to worry about it. I mean, if all you're doing this for is to make money, then you don't need to worry about it, right? Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to take the same trades. I'm going to take the, the uh, code break, too, myself. Why not? It makes it easy. But like you, I need the service because, you know, do you want to sit there and do it every day? Well, neither do I. No, we'll both use the service. But the code, too, is a different animal altogether and for that you have to track it 
and that's what I'm offering in my charting service. If you want to be able to do this trade like I'm doing this every day, all you got to do is come into my charting service and learn the code 2 and the code 1 obviously first. Otherwise you have no idea what it would even talk about. And then come into the charting and let me track it for you. And you'll be able to nail this trade just like I'm doing. I'll be right back. Okay, it's almost 100% mathematics now. That code 2 is down, so I've got the right position going short. Now it's just a matter of what can I make for the exit. I'm going to watch it, see how far it goes down, how fast, and then I'll try to judge the exit. I'm going to try to hit at least 70 ticks off of this today. I'll be back. I just wanted to show that it's moving back up here right now. And the code uh, did give a long entry. It may even give another one here. I'm not going to give up my position short. Um, I'm going to keep the stop out there. The mathematics on this trade are very high right now that the code 2 is down, not up. There is a mathematical possibility still that it is up, but the mathematics are very skewed against it. So the, 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 this trade right now mathematically is showing itself that it is a down. Code 2 says go down. And the beautiful part about it is now mathematically you can tell this. And um, so it's short all the way right now. It is short all the way right now. The mathematics is at least 90%. How's that? For, for some, some good math to go down. <laughs> it's 90%. So I am short. I won't give up this short position. If for some reason it, you know, hits me, I'll just use another code to go short with. Simple as that, like I did yesterday. I'll be right back. By the way, in my charting service yesterday, I taught why I knew it was a short, why mathematically it was a short yesterday. I taught that in my charting service. Today, I will teach why I know that it is 90% a short and not a long. It's very easy to tell, and it's, very, and it's just simple basic mathematics. I mean, you know, very simple and basic. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just going to take a look at the code here. We are getting a long signal off of code 1. I'll be right back. Still going to hold my short position. I'm not going to give it up. I'm going to play the mathematics on this trade. We'll see what it wants to do. You know what? I think I have miscalculated. The code 2 now is probably going to be up. Yeah. Remember yesterday? It did the same thing. Uh, yikes. Okay. Alright. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let it hit the stop. And I'm going to take a code 1 entry. If the next code 1 goes if it hits my stop and then it goes short, I won't take it. If it hits my stop and it goes long, I will take it. Probably doesn't make any sense to you. I'll be right back. You know that mathematics I was talking about earlier, I have to throw that out the window because yesterday it did the same thing. I was forgetting that. So the mathematics are then that that's a very high likelihood that that is a reversal there. So, um, hmm. Alright, well from here I'm going to have to use code 1 and see what it says and let's use, I'm going to take, keep taking code 1 until I get the right position and I'll just hold it each time. It'll give me the right position. Be right back, about to get a signal. Okay, first signal is short but this particular one is showing itself to be offset. In other words, this code is offset. So I'll have to wait here and see what it's going to say. Okay, the offset here looks to be giving a long entry. Oh, brother. Come on, go down. Go straight down. Right back. 
No, nope, it's giving a long entry off the offset here. Hmm. If it's if that is the code, it's going to go up now. It'll go hit my stop, which would likely mean that that the code two would be long and not short. We're about to find out here shortly. If it is going to be short, it's just going to start coming down soon, though. It won't go up and hit my stop. And then I'll have it. All I got to do is just hold it. And it'll come all the way back down again to here. And break below here and go even further. If it is going to be a long, then it'll hit my stop. And I'll look for some long entries to get long off the code. And hopefully it can hit 40, 50 ticks or something today. Won't be able to get what I would like to. Be back. If it comes down, however, though, I will be able, I should be able to get what I want. It'll still come all the way back down here, break, and I'll make this big exit. But if it goes up and it hits my stop, I won't be able to get what I want. Only a fraction, a small fraction of the of the move. So I'm hoping it's going to come down, obviously. And at some point, I'll be able to mathematically say that for sure it's 100% code two down, but I can't do it yet. Okay, we're looking good here. We just got another code one short entry that makes two of them we've gotten now. So we've got two code one short entries in what should be a code two trade here now. Uh, the math on it is getting better. It was about 70 to 30. I would give it a little slightly bit better. It's about 75 to 25 now and climbing. At some point it'll be 100%. I can exclude exclude it going up it'll be down 100 percent I'll be back here we have a code one short entry so looking good for it to continue on its downward motion uh, move now after this code one short and also into the code two short I haven't been able to mathematically uh, call it a hundred percent yet but we're getting close. I'll be back. Okay, I can now call it 100%. The code 2 is to go down. So I'm already short and uh, just holding now. The only question is, is how many ticks can I get? Now I'm going to go for at least 70, which puts me down to 4790. But uh, see if I can't get an extra 30 out of that puts me back to 4760. And I'm at 4860. So that would be 100 ticks for today. We'll see how slippery it wants to get here. We are coming up on the bottom of the daily here. We're almost there at the bottom. I'll be right back. But just imagine this, ladies and gentlemen, not only knowing where to get in and what, what direction to go, but also to know where your exit will be. Can you imagine that? Imagine that somebody can call that every single day and show it to you on camera. There's no trickery going on here. Don't let people fool you. you know, what kind of a person do you think I am? There's no trickery going on here. I'm showing you exactly what's taking place. It looks really super good. Do you know why? Because it is really super good. That's why. Don't let anybody fool you. Your eyes are showing you the truth. I am telling you the truth. That's why they call it such a scam. Because of that. They don't want you to know this information. Isn't that sad? Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm just waiting for it to go down. Because sometimes, you know, it could take a while. It could take an hour. It could take two hours. You never know. Could take 30 more minutes. Could take 15 more minutes. We'll see. But when you're sitting in a short position like this, and you got the code 2 down, you know the code 2 mathematically is to go down, and you're sitting way up with, in a buffer, way up here in a short position. I mean, right now, all the thing that you, you should be doing is have the smile on your face and be happy. Because you've got it. You've got it. You hit it. You've got it. You've got it made. All you got to do is hang on to the exit 
and then if it comes you know just a little bit away from your exit you know you've got to jump out you can't just let it go all the way back because it could especially on a Friday so I'm gonna I'm but I want to let it go to at least 48 or 4790 before I start thinking about jumping out so got a little ways to go all I gotta do is sit here and hold it this is the power of knowing the code 2 and knowing how to take your entries using code 1 and hitting these trades come into my charting service I'll track it for you you hit the trade every morning like I'm doing it's not rocket science take a little practice you can absolutely do it all of my charting members should be hitting this trade right now just like I'm doing and learning how to do this for themselves not just that but learning the skill for themselves that's what I'm teaching people that to acquire a skill that they can do every day to do what I'm doing I'll be back just want to show you that it's bouncing back up here from the bottom coming all the way back up to here right do you see me getting out of the trade no <laughs> why because I know it's gonna go from here down to it should go down to at least 4790 possibly much lower but it should go down to there for 70 ticks therefore if I know it's gonna go from here down to 4790 way down here why should I bother getting out here all I need to do is write it if it comes all the way back up to here it doesn't matter as long as it doesn't hit my stop and it makes it to 4790 before it hits my stop at some point or before the market's going to you know end today that's all I care about and that's what it will mathematically do that's what the code represents the only time that, that doesn't do it when it when it goes tight which it does do especially on weeks like this week but yesterday it opened up to 120 today it should be you know at least 70 if not 80 90 100 110 120 again 140 even so this is how you play it this is how you play the codes this is how you really make the money and do it very easily and not worry about anything else I could even send out a signal to you once I mathematically know what the code is and then send the code one signal out to you as well so you could take a precision level entry into it like for instance let's say you weren't in right now but I could tell you what it what it, the, the code one will be which way code two is and then and then where the exit for code two should be I could give you all of that that's a new idea I just thought of that would work for you that would give you what you really need to be able to master this market they'll take care of all of you newbies out there and everything like a lot of people would exit right here just lock in the profit that they've got I don't need to you will see for yourself and watch the power of knowing the codes and knowing code 2 especially I know what it will do before it does it I'll be back okay it made a nice little breakdown it's about to break the bottom of the daily here. It's almost there. It's right about to break. It's double bottoming here. So, uh, anyway, we're sitting pretty. You know, I got a good position. I'm still holding. It's going to go down to at least 47.90. You know, I mean, there's no guarantee of that, but I'm sitting pretty right here. I mean, when you when you're sitting like this in a position. You should just be smiling and thinking to yourself, oh, easy day, sweet easy day. Now sometimes it'll come all the way back up on you and spoil your day, but I mean, most of the time, this trade's going to work for you, and it's going to be an easy day. You know, not every day is so easy, and so on days like today, it's just a piece of cake. Of course, the code too is pretty much a piece of cake anyway. You'll see. They're going to show it to you every day, every morning piece of cake well, sometimes it give you trouble though but uh, you know like you see you can't win every single solitary day right sometimes you just make mistakes things happen whatever today's a good day though 
Okay, so I'm just still watching it. I'm going to see how much it wants to go down. I may uh, get out at 90, or I may just keep my exit, which is sitting down here at 60. And I can move it around anywhere I want. So I'll come back. But you're watching the power of code 2 for yourself. People can say this or say that. They can say anything they want with no face, no name, and fake IP addresses that can't be traced. And I am sitting here with my real name and my real face and really showing you what's really happening. <laughs> so, you know, choose to believe what you want to believe, but I'm here speaking and showing the truth. I will be back. My charting service members are hitting this trade with me and learning how to hit this trade on their own so that they won't have to rely on me forever and be able to learn this skill and do this for themselves. My videos teach that, but my charting service helps you along every single day and helps you to, to be able to do what I'm doing, what you're seeing here every day. I'll be back. Obviously, you can see if I wanted to, I could get out right now, right? I could get out. But why should I if I know that it's going to go down to at least 90? Why should I settle for this? Now, do you see what I'm saying about the power of code 2? Not only do I know the entry, not only do I know the direction, but I know where the exit is. You know, I, I, I see why this is why people have a tendency to think this is just crazy, it can't be true, or something like that. Because it just seems it's impossible. But it's not impossible. It's 100% mathematical precision on what I'm doing. I'll be back. By the way, it did just make a new low on the daily chart. So we now have a new low in place at 48.10. And that will not be the low. I can tell that using the uh, code. It will not be the low on the daily. So oil has not bottomed out yet. I will be able to tell when it does bottom. The actual bottom on the daily chart, I will be able to tell. We'll call out my charting service. So we're still waiting just this thing to go lower. Hopefully at some point it will capitulate and really make a big move down. We'll make, make our exit of 100 ticks. Be right back. We're calling all traders around the world. I am a scientist. I've been trading since the year 2000. I have broken the codes to the financial markets. If you don't know what that means, I suggest you, you know, find out and uh, get my courses, sign up to my charting, start learning from me, follow me what I'm doing. You'll be able to hit this trade with me every day. Uh, you know, there's going to be all kinds of people out there who are slandering me, saying that I'm a scam, etc. If I were you, I wouldn't listen to them. Uh, they want to take this away from you. They don't want you to be able to profit from this. Um, you know, I don't know what to say about them except for their, you know, they call me the nutcase. Believe me, they are the ones who are pure 100% psychopaths. And they're liars and... They're very evil people is what they are. And I am here teaching, showing, and offering the truth to people around the world. Traders from everywhere, all over the world, are learning about this, taking advantage of this, purchasing my courses, signing up to my charting. I am helping a lot of people right now learn how to do this. This is one of the reasons why they hate me so much. Because I'm actually teaching all these people how to really make money. And here's the irony. These people who call me a scam and slander me, they're the ones out scamming everybody. And purposely doing it on purpose. Teaching them systems that don't work. When somebody like me comes around that actually teaches a real system that really works, they want to stop it. They want to, they want to call it a scam. They don't want to sell it. I mean, I even tried to get them to help me to sell this to get it out there and they all refused all the message boards everything they're all scams you know I know that's weird but it's true
true. You want to come out of the matrix? You want to truly make money at the markets? I broke the codes. I'm a scientist. You should listen to me because I speak the truth. I'll be back. It uh, made a new low right there, but it's inchworming its way down. I'm going to be looking for it to make a capitulation move here soon and really make a nice move, nice slide down at some point here. Because we just broke through on the daily chart, made a new low on the daily. Most likely it'll capitulate some. So we're sitting pretty in a short position. All we got to do is wait for that to happen. We have to worry about nothing. Again, you code traders out there who are following me in my charting service and following this code to trade with me, taking the same trade. When you're sitting like this, just relax. You're sitting beautiful right now. Just smile and relax. Now it's just a question of what we can get. I've got the 100 tick exit on it. I'm hoping it's going to inchworm its way down and then capitulate, drop into the exit and get me out. Boom. Before I even try to make a decision, I'm already out. Happens all the time. Be back. It's making some new lows here. See if we can't get a capitulation move. Come on. Let's take a dive. Sitting really good right now. Where did it go down to? About 96 it went down to. 96. Might want to pop up here a little bit. Don't even worry about it. It's still going to make a capitulation type of a move. And do 20, 30 ticks real quick. I'll come back. I'm still going to hold it. We got a uh, code 1 buy signal there. I'm just going to hold it. Code 2 overrides code 1. Uh, code 2 good for about uh, 80 ticks right now. So that is a concern. But uh, I'm just going to watch it see what code 1 does. And hold the position. Holding the position short. I've been holding all the way up here. And, um, you know, this is one of those things where uh, it's about the code 2. If you want to hit it, you have to go for it. If you get out early, then you won't, you know, obviously, if you don't get back in, you won't be able to hit it. But if you stay in the whole time from where you get in to where it should go to and you hit it, then it doesn't matter what it does. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm showing you now. That's the way I play it because it's the easiest way to play it and the best way at the same time. So I'll come back. Okay, it's getting close to breaking the previous low here. Right there's the low. It's almost down there. What my plan is is to do something like this. Once it gets below 47.90 right here and drops below that, say to about 80, I'm going to place a break even stop on it at 47.90 to lock in that 70 ticks and just let it go. It'll either go to the 100 tick exit of 60 or come back and stop me out at 70. But once it breaks below that low, it's likely to go 20 ticks down from there. So I'll be able to place a break even stop at 90 and then let it go. So, you know, but there's also a good chance it's going to be a 100 tick trade. Very good chance of that. And I don't even really need to place the break even stop, to be honest. You just need to be able to judge its capitulation move and the bottom and stuff. Let me think about this. What's the math of it making 60? It has to be like 120. It's stretching it. It's stretching it on the code even. Yeah, it's stretching it. It's time to look for an exit here. Okay, I'll come right back. Almost made it down to 90, down to my original exit, almost. See right there, almost made it. We're about to get a signal here. You know, there's been no capitulation move whatsoever. Really would be looking for one. I think I'm just going to ignore this signal. If it goes long, I think I'm just going to ignore it. I should be able to make it down a little bit further. I'll come right back. 
you know, I'll be happy when it, it, it's not so tight anymore, because it's really tight. Normally I don't have to struggle for these exits like this. It's just really, really tight out there. Next week it should open up some. By the way, that low was a new low on the daily chart. That's a brand new low right there on the daily. So we are holding short on, a, you know, just off of a brand new low on a daily, you know. We are not sitting in a bad position right now. I'm still looking to get out for 70, 80, 90, 100 ticks though. I'll come back. Okay, we have gotten a code 1 long entry. And the code could have already gone 90 already. It's possible. And certainly 70. So it's possible, mathematically, we have reached the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the next code 1 as the decision maker. If the next code 1 goes short, I'll hold it till it goes back down. And or if the code next one gives a long entry, that'll be two back-to-back -back long entries. And I'll go ahead and go along with it. Or I'll exit this position and call it a day. I'll come back. Okay, we look to be getting a code 1 short entry. It's offset. Offset right there. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and hold it and see what it wants to do and what the uh, code one starts to say. If it's going to continue down, it should start to give short entries. There's the first one. Just place the stop at 48.12. If it wants to pop up there, I'm going to stop out right there and call it a day. And it may do it too. And it may continue to go down, but I'm in a hurry to leave. It's Friday, and I just want to get this straight over with at this point. Or to come down. I mean, it took forever to even get it down to here. It's like really choppy and taking forever to move. Normally, it doesn't take this long. Normally, it gets me out on the first big run down. Then it'll come up and play around for a while before it makes another move. I usually get out on the first one. And call and call an early day, but all week long it's not been doing that. It's been taking forever to make it to the exit. Anyway, I'm just going to put the stop right there. It's either going to make it to my exit now or make it to that stop. I'll come back and uh, at least show you the outcome of this trade. Where did I get in? I got in right here at 4860, going short. Where did I say it would go down to? 47.90. And it almost went there. How did I know that it would go down to there, though? Why am I still holding? Well, there's a reason for it. You are looking at the most real thing that you've probably ever seen before. It's one of the reasons why they call it a scam. Because it's the real deal. And um, now you're seeing it for yourself. With your own two eyes. And we're about to get a signal here. Should be a short. It should drop really good. And drop below this low. And I'm looking to get out for, you know, 70, 80, 90, 100 ticks. Let's go. Normally this thing would be moving a lot more. It's Friday. It's starting to slow down. I am looking to get out. I still have my stop right up here at 12. But I'm hoping it's going to break break down here. I'll be right back. It's, tip, it's uh, going with its choppy motion here. It's bouncing back up. I wish it would just either stop me out here or make it move down one way or the other. Just so I could, you know go about my business for the rest of the day. Still got to do the charting for today too. I'd like to get some other things done. Oh well, sometimes you get stuck like this. But normally it would have already hit the exit. You'll see when I start doing this every day, you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, it's uh, finally come up and stopped me out. So I am done for the day. And I am done for the week. 
So I'm going to do the charting today. And I nailed the, uh, the uh, code 2 entry. But uh, couldn't hit the exit that I wanted. So I had to settle for something less today. Anyway, still can make good money on the code 2. It's just a bit tight this week. Next week it'll open up and get a lot better. And I'll be all over it next week. And every week from now on, now everybody in the world can witness for themselves the power of knowing the codes. And especially knowing code 2 with respect to the oil market. I am here speaking the truth, teaching the truth. Don't let anybody out there fool you otherwise. Because there are people who are trying to do exactly that. Can they show you the truth? Can they show you this every day? No. Do they show their face like I do? No. Do they show their real name like I do? No. I do all that because I speak the truth. They hide behind message boards with no name, no face, and fake IP addresses. You're seeing it for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back next week. Happy trading, traders, and I'll see you in my charting service.